So if you call a woman skinny, congratulations, she's gonna make out with you. But if you call a dude skinny, this is something that is not ideal or sexy. Lean, possibly. But skinny, literally, like if you call me skinny, I'm gonna beat your ass. But the unfortunate reality is that a lot of you guys that spend time, money, energy, lifting weights, building your body, working on your sexy physique, actually look skinny because of some of the style mistakes you're making. Today, that stops. If you're ready to not look skinny, Drop me one of those. If you're a thinner dude, never wear a dark monochromatic outfit, meaning dark top, dark pants. Instead, what I'd recommend is go with some type of contrast. Lighter up top, dark below, or dark top, light pants. It's the contrast in the top and the bottom of your body that's actually gonna make you look bigger. Number two is skinny jeans, skinny pants, joggers that are too thin and tapered towards the ankle. So here's the deal. If you're a skinny dude and you're wearing really tight pants, it's gonna accentuate the fact that you are a thin dude. Instead, what I'd recommend is something with a little more fabric, all right? You want at least one inch in terms of pinching on either side of your leg. But you also don't want it to taper too drastically down to the ankle because this is also drawing the eye down, making you look thinner. And so what I'd recommend is a straight cut jean, pant, or chino. It's all about the visual line of your body, right? And this includes your shoe, which is actually the next mistake, wearing pointy shoes. If you are a dude and you have shoes, dress shoes or boots that are overly dramatic in terms of a point in the toe box, this is actually going to draw the eye down, making you look longer and thinner. In terms of shirts, we gotta talk about a few things. All right, so patterns, let's get this out of the way. Vertical stripes, whether or not it's a fat stripe or thin stripe, is actually going to draw the eye down, making you look thinner. Horizontal stripes will make you look wider, but you'll also look like a dork, so go solid. So check it out, look what just happened when I put on this light blue polo, right? The light blue polo shirt is a great option in terms of making thin dudes look a little bit larger, right? Because the collar is gonna add bulk to your traps and your neck area. It's also gonna draw the eye down, making your shoulders appear wider. Now, in terms of the sleeve length, you don't want it to be too long. If your sleeves are coming down to around your elbow, it's gonna make your arms look super tiny and small. Wearing a watch is a great way to actually break the visual length of your forearm, making your forearm appear wider but if you're wearing a big super oversized watch this is actually going to make your arm look smaller and so what I'd recommend in terms of watch size go with a 38 39 40 max in terms of size speaking of size it's time to talk about your wiener <laughs> actually I'm kidding I'm not kidding though because boxers are one of those things that make dudes look little, eeny, bitty, teeny, weeny, like dorky, skinny, horrible when your clothes are off. Not only do you look like skinny just standing there in your boxers that are all big and baggy and not sexy at all, it's also bad for Big Al. Gentlemen, Big Al, the boys, they need support, they need love, they need help being awesome. You're like, yo, Alpha, do you have a better solution? I don't, but Sheath does. Today's video sponsor and the only underwear to touch my Big Al and the boys because these are not your daddy's underwear. It's all about the inside, gentlemen. That pouch, that hole. This is where the magic happens when it comes to amazing, perfect underwear, all right? Sheath was designed by Robert, a dude that I'm friends with. He's awesome. He was a soldier, right? He was over there in the desert. He was walking around. He's like, my God, I'm getting chafed. I'm irritated. My balls smell. And he thought to himself, there's got to be a better way. And so he started experimenting with socks and duct tape and rope and what he realizes is that if you separate Big Al from the boys not only are you gonna not chafe and be all irritated and uncomfortable you're gonna sweat less you're also gonna stink less and it's gonna be a better experience for Big Al and the boys gentlemen there is a reason why urologists are recommending sheath underwear it's all about the separation gentlemen the way that it works guys there's a little hole right in there you stick Big Al through there and then you place your boys right in that little pouch now, you're thinking to yourself the same thing I was. That can't be comfortable. Gentlemen, the crazy thing is that when you slip them on the first time, it's actually kind of fun, right? And then you're like, damn, these are awesome. Not only are they more comfortable than regular underwear, you sweat less, there's less friction, and you stink less. But wait, there's more. They look better than other underwear, right? And here's the bonus. Your big owl, when you're just standing there chilling in your underwear, literally looks gigantic. Sheath also now has like a mesh version and bamboo fabric, guys. In terms of comfort and breathability, next level. And their website, guys, that's the other thing. If you've ever been to Sheath's website, it's gotten better. They recently relaunched a new version, lightning fast, gentlemen, like faster than you're gonna throw out all of your other underwear once you try a pair of Sheath. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna love them as much as I do. Your girl 
is going to be like, damn, son, what's up, right? I'm telling you, it happens. Guys, hit the link down below. That link, it's special. You're going to get a discount that they don't give to like many people. The discount is awesome. Now is the time. Guys, they've restocked. They've relaunched. Sheath are the best underwear you will ever wear. They're not only going to make you look amazing, Big Al and the boys are going to smell fresher, less friction, less hot, less stinky balls. Gentlemen, it's a win, 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 win. Hit the link and get your balls a pair of the best. The best are sheath. So next up, we got to talk about suits and dress shirts because dressing up is one of the things that really makes a lot of thin dudes like look bad when they do it wrong, all right? So first thing I want to talk to you about is wearing the right size suit, all right? It doesn't matter the details. If the suit is too big and the shoulders aren't right, it's going to make you look super tiny and small. And so what I recommend when you go into a store, right, get fitted, but then size down. Try the smaller size. If they measure you at a 42 regular, try the 40 regular. Or possibly if you're like five foot eight or under, try the short size. It's going to make you look a lot better if you actually size down, right? The shoulders. It's all about the shoulders. Something else that's going to make you look smaller is the lapels. Big oversized fat like Tom Ford lapels are also going to make you, if you're a really thin dude, look a little bit smaller. What I'd recommend is go with something more neutral or modest in terms of lapel width. But don't go like super thin because that's something that a lot of thin dudes do that makes them look even thinner. It extends accentuates the skinniness of their body and the collar, all right? That's one of the things that makes thin dudes look super skinny. When they're dressed up, they got a tie on, their collar is buttoned, but there's like three inches of gap in between. Guys, it's all about going to the tailor. If you're a thin dude and the shirt fits you properly and the collar's still too large, go to the tailor or do it yourself. You simply need to just adjust and move the button to make it fit snug so that you don't look too skinny. Next thing we got to talk about are t-shirts, all right? So t-shirts are one of the things that make skinny guys look horrible because if you're wearing an oversized one that's very popular right now, just know that it makes you look super tiny. If you want to look bigger and more muscular and not super thin, guys, go with something that's going to fit you a lot better, right? Not too big, not too baggy. The sleeve shouldn't be too long, just right and perfect. Not super tight either. When skinny dudes wear like really tight, skin tight shirts, it accentuates the fact that you're super skinny. So stop wearing Under Armour. Now, a lot of online like information will say that crew necks are the best best option for thin guys to make you look bigger. I personally feel like a shallow v-neck is actually going to make you look a little bit wider, but a crew neck is great. But a deep V, absolutely not. A scoop neck also is going to make you look smaller. Something else going to make you look smaller are actually baggy shorts. Wide baggy shorts make your legs and ankles and calves look super skinny. You got to get those shorts up off your knee. You also need to make sure that they are fitted, not too tight though, because if they're like bike shorts, it's also going to make your legs look skinny. Something else that will is no-show socks. If you've got thin calves or small ankles or your legs are super skinny, no-show socks actually make your ankles look even smaller. And so what I'd recommend is wear something that is a little bit taller. It's going to add visual bulk to the lower portion of your leg. And that's it, gentlemen. Some of the biggest mistakes that men make that make them look super skinny when the truth is you're lean and sexy. And if you call me skinny, I'm going to punch you in the nuts. That are hopefully wearing sheath underwear. Link below. What? That was, that, that was smooth.